Connor Kenway from Assassin's Creed 3, I think. Yeah. So I'm on a landscape page. Pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. Let's go. Let's start with his mask. So he's got this sort of V that sticks down, like right pretty much middle of my page, right? Doesn't have to be exact bang center on yours, but that's where I'm starting. So it comes down. Points up and then goes across here. Same on the other side. Okay. And this hangs down either side of his face, right? So it goes, it's this loose sort of fabric that joins like his suit or his jacket or something down here. So it kind of bends and flows sort of down this way. So we got like facial features in here. Okay, so. So his face kind of, so we'll, put, we'll just get the shape for his face because it's probably easiest. So his chin is just here. Right, and his jaw will go up. And sort of start to curve about here somewhere. We'll go up this side. You'll probably see a bit more of his jaw then on this side. There's a bit more fabric in here actually. Okay, and that means we should be able to see a little bit of his ear there. So his face goes up that way. So then we can see a little bit of his ear. I think inside here. So we'll go just here, like a bit of his earlobe. Can't see it on that side because the thing comes across his face a bit more there. So then his nose, right? So we can see like nostrils just here. This kind of just comes down in the middle. They join together here. And just darken this up here a little bit. And this will go back around the other side to there. Same on this side, pretty much. To there. And then you might be able to see some lines just for the bridge of his nose. A little bit here. Just light line sketched in for his nose there. So everything under here is like real dark, so you can't really see anything under there for his eyes. All right, so then mouth just down here. So we'll go fairly basic, so we'll go Center line first. So we go up, down in the middle, back up, across, and kind of give him sort of a smile there on the side. And then top lip, down the middle, down to there, bottom lip. Across like that. Maybe like just a shadow sort of underneath here.
Let's just try and even things up a little bit. Okay, and that's kind of all we can see for his face. Maybe like some cheekbones or something coming in there. But all under here is like shaded, so you could add like just some hatching lines coming across. Underneath there. Because we really can't make out anything in there. I think that's the best we can do for his face. That's it, really. Okay, so. Do, do, do. Okay. Right, so then the rest of his hood. So. Basically, coming out from here, right, we'll just go waving sort of up this way, right? And they are fabric lines, so you want them to be kind of bumpy and stuff. And then this comes up, and then over to a point and back down. Nice. And then we have some lines that go up this way from the edge and down towards the corner of his mask, like some stitching or something here. Right, and these could have like some edge lines and things on them just to show they're kind of raised up a little bit. And he has a pattern on the inside, like an eagle, right? So this will go out here. It's kind of stitched together here, a diamond sort of shape. There, and we'll do a line up the middle as well. And this has some sort of raised sections either side. And then we have a bird head or something on the inside, right? So we'll draw it in. Pretty primitive looking design. So like two wings. crisscross one another so this goes back in and out this kind of thing and then feathers either side and down the middle, tail feathers. So dots and textures and stuff, cause it's kind of like leather and all this kind of thing. So there might be like some dirt and scratches and stuff on it.
Okay, so we'll move down the center and then do shoulders because there's lots of straps and all this kind of stuff. So coming from, say, up here near where his neck would be, his collar curves in towards the center of his chest. And comes down towards a button here. It's kind of a wavy line, right? So you've got a button right here in the center. Okay, then in here we've got some more. So this comes down. It's another shirt or something here. And then he has a necklace with a tooth. Is it a tooth or a bullet or something? Hanging down the middle. And this will go around his neck. And then we could have neck muscle lines just in here. Like so. Right, and then, so, more fabric. So this comes out like a shirt or something. That way, and then this comes down. There's a big strap here, so we can't really see. Another strap going that way. And then another button here. Line down the middle and this is like cross lines going this way. So we'll just get like the rough shape for where his shoulders. So bumping out, right? So and there's all these straps and stuff, but we'll just get in whenever we can. Cause he's like kind of hunched over. So some more of his hood goes this way and then there's a big strap here. So this goes down, right? So width of his shoulders is like his head, roughly, like face width. So this like all bumps down for his fabric on his arm. So all this clothing bumps down like that. There's all these straps and things going around his arm and stuff, right? But that's your general shape for his anatomy, right? So then we have all these straps. So we'll do this one on this side first. And they're underneath clips. So this clip is on his shoulder, holding it on. Right, we got like buttons. And we'll give this an edge line just to thicken, making it look a little bit thicker. There's another one of those over here. Might as well keep it all symmetrical. And then there's like a button here and here, and we'll give it an edge. Like that. So each of these has a strap underneath, right? So this one will go across his body this way, like a leather strap. So give it like a broken line, broken edge line, like that. Then this strap goes around his shoulder, just here. Okay. And then this blue section comes down around here, right? So this is blue in here. And it looks like he's got like these sort of buttonholes or something and an edge and then golden buttons.
this goes this way for this strap. So this is like a bigger strap now. And then it has a buckle, right? So there's these buckle clips. And a bit of its strap sort of hanging off here. Okay. Right, and given like leather an edge, a light little broken line that goes around it always helps just make it look a little bit 3D and like some scratches and stuff. Because leather is like wrinkly sort of material, okay? And then this other side for his blue and the gold button there and it's got like a hole or something here. All right, so we're getting there now. So then just a couple more details on his arms, right? So this shoulder has like a gold, like it's like a shoulder pad, I don't know. It's gold though, it goes that way. There's another line joining the hood up here it seems like a stitching line. And then another one joins his body here and his arm. His arm is here. So it's like his armpit. This is like a blue section. So it's blue in there, gold, blue. Yeah. Oh, and he has these clasps on his, wrapped around his, like just underneath. Native American looking things. You know, they've got these diamonds in them. So, and then on the other side, pretty much as well. So, gold sort of strap or something. Just goes underneath there. And then another one goes towards the button. And then this is like blue. This thing on his arm again, like an arm bracelet. Down there, and then like some more and some diamonds. Right, and again, like texture, dots and dark lines and everything. Then quiver and bow. So he's got a he bow and arrow. So we can see the bow itself first. So it like comes up this way. Bends down, kind of kicks back up here and then out. Then it comes around, like a little section that sticks off here. Comes back in, 
there, up, down. Right, and it's made of wood, like so. There's texture on it, and there's like a Native American thing wrapped around it here. So like texture lines and stuff, and it, it's wrapped around his body, right? So this string goes like across these buttons. So I'll go with like a single line. This line is actually brown, but I'll, I'm just gonna make it thick looking. And then where the arrows are coming out here, so. And then bows and arrows. Bow, bow first. So they just like come out from here. So a ruler might be handy in this instance for these. So you just go up to there. One, how many can I see? I can see four, so. Behind there, one, two. And the rest are like in behind that one. So we'll just go here. And one coming out from here. Quite small tops on them. Right, and a couple more just in behind. Looks like stacked. In behind here. And so you just gotta add like a couple more sticks just coming out. That kind of thing. And that's it. If you can thicken up edge lines, sometimes that helps. I'll just do that now. All right, but I think that'll do. That is how to draw Connor Kenway from Assassin's Creed 3. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.